Both of you have to give me a power five team that is worse than Virginia. I will go first. Tell me if you agree or disagree. I will say Vanderbilt. Both agree? Disagree? I will disagree. Oh, okay. Even Caleb? though I watch Vanderbilt against Hawaii, I will still disagree. I would have disagreed last week, but that Vanderbilt Hawaii game, and maybe I'm just salty because they cost me some money because I bet on them to cover. He has a problem. Uh, oh, oh, Caleb, never ever take Vanderbilt and get points. I, I don't care if it's <laughs> against Monmouth and Tony Musket is departed. Fair. Go ahead. So I'm going to say I'm actually going to do something kind of similar, but. Look, and this is a waste of a program because I think they could be very good. But given their coach, I don't think Virginia is the worst football team in its own state. I think Virginia Tech is. They made a terrible hire on Brent Pry. I think you could. What do you think, John? You could make that argument. It seemed like Tech was uh, rolling right along with uh, Michael Vick and Shane Beamer. I'm sorry. uh, What was his first name? Beamer. Frank Frank Beamer. Frank. Frank. To be frank, Frank Beamer had a pretty good thing going, but I don't know how they compete nowadays, John, with with trying to get elite athletes. They were based off good defense, and they, was it Bud? Uh, can't remember. Bud, For, Bud Foster. Bud, Bud, Bud Foster. Foster. Yeah, he was there forever, and uh, yeah, I know how they can compete. They play Virginia every Saturday. <laughs> So yeah, it's <laughs> just a season Tw- long of Virginia. 12, 12 non conference games. <laughs> Look, if Virginia Tech were in the SEC, given their fan base, I actually think they could have a nice infrastructure to recruit to a certain degree because they have like an SEC culture. I feel like at Virginia Tech, but that look, Justin Fuente just wrecked that program again. Ask every Virginia Tech fan about Hendon Hooker. Rocky Top Tom says UVA equals sissies with bow ties and salmon pink britches. No, that was the official color. I have they some also pants demand like that. that you hmm? have some salmon <laughs> pants. Yeah, at least somebody called them salmon. I didn't think they were salmon. UVA also demands, by the way, that you refer to the campus as the grounds, not as campus. They say it's the grounds. I'm dead serious. Oh, oh so I've got it. Tony Musket just hit the ground in Nashville. <laughs> in Nashville, yeah, repeatedly. Tony Musket can't get up off the ground in Nashville. It would be. I I, I would personally pledge two hundred and fifty dollars for Bob Kessling to use that one time in Saturday's game. Here's another one that they're paying their coach like eight point five million dollars. How about Stanford, John? We talked about that last night. You know, I guess Stanford just wasn't on my radar. I always thought it was about uh, was about eight and four, had three future NFL tight ends, and David Shaw was on on the sidelines. And some at some point when I wasn't looking, that just went away. And now it's kind of a mess there. It was picked to be last in the in the last season of the Pac-12. But let's let's not. You know, let's not downgrade Virginia too much, or I should say upgrade it too much, because Virginia, every preseason poll I saw in the ACC, with respect to Virginia Tech, had Virginia last. Maybe I didn't look at enough polls, but and it was last last year. and uh, But it's got a quarterback from Monmouth now, so things will probably work out. Uh, Raleigh <laughs> said Northwestern is worse. You actually said that um, last night when we were talking. Ollie uh, Lang will Dave, get- excuse yeah. me. You said Northwestern was worse. You said it. <laughs> Wait, no, if y'all you, didn't believe it. You, you said it, and I agreed with you. But then when I thought about it a little longer, I think no, Northwestern will be motivated with all the off-season stuff. And uh, do re- I'm sorry, but I can't. I think that North. I, you say Northwestern, I kind of laugh. I, I can't help it. Just. But if Dave wasn't a Cowboy fan... We would have it, it, we would couldn't we say Colorado? Because why are we believing in Deion Sanders? He's proven nothing yet, and they were one in eleven last year. Rhyme time. That's that's a that, pretty good you know cowboy fan too. No, but he has got you that's a really good point. Yeah. 
That, but I mean, they have made, his John, they may have pretty, made the worst hire in the history of man. We don't know yet. I just, I think Dion's a great promoter. He's a great cornerback. Uh, but I Unless think he had to tackle you. I think, well, I think he's going to, I think this is, has disaster written all over it at Colorado. I'm glad you brought up Colorado because I was thinking, eh, I couldn't think of another team. I had uh, Stanford, Vanderbilt, Northwestern. Virginia to me was worse. And I, I don't know. That's that's a good call. With the Dion thing, he makes every pe- every person in the media refer to him as coach, which I've never referred to a coach as coach other than Johnny Majors because that's when I was a kid and I grew up watching him. So I would call him coach. I mean, it's not like a real title like doctor. I know. Um, I, I remember the first time you asked coach a question, you said, hey, doofus, what do you – I thought that was a bit disrespectful, Dave, looking back. <laughs> That was a little much. Yeah, right? that, yeah, that. That was that was back in my wet days, though, John. I may have had a long night the night before. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> Y'all are so low, by the way, on UVA. You ready for a crazy stat? Here, I'm ready. This isn't true. Of every program in college athletics, not in the SEC or Big Ten, or not going to be in the SEC or Big Ten, Virginia is the highest revenue athletic department by far, uh, even even more than Florida State, right now. Is that Craig Elo giving back? It's the basketball program does have a have a loyal <laughs> following, and it's yeah no they are according to USA Today's uh, NCAA finances revenue expenses by school that comes out every year. This past summer, Virginia was 14th in the nation in overall revenue. Does so, anybody, well, does anybody well, actually know where Craig Elo went to school? For the record, his nickname was Eggs and Mister Everything. I'll say Illinois State. I have no idea. No, maybe a Pac-12 school. <laughs> Quick, he 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 would kind of like. A, didn't he have like kind of a surfer look to him? Or am I, I'm wow, him. John nailed it. Look at Thank you, you. Washington. Wait, 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 wait! I didn't know this. Wait, no, wait. Washington. Did he play for Washington? Washington? State. Washington State. Okay, pretty good. But he went the Odessa College route first, so he had a little musket in him. So. Uh, whatever happened to Ralph Sampson? I watched him play and covered him in a final four, seven, four, uh, could handle the ball pretty well. Yeah, he was great. He had a bad accident with a musket. No, seriously, Dave. You... No, he was very good. I think he's what, what boy. Oh, because, yeah, wasn't he... that like, didn't Houston draft him the year before Hakeem Olajuwon? And it was like, we're going to have the twin towers and that's going to be better than anything. Michael Jordan does with the bulls. And nice. I think happen. Samson had injury issues like the last half of his career. He's kind of like a Bill Walton type. Well, he he was seven four, and I think that lends itself to injuries. You can hit your head on a, you know, going going through a door. You can hit your head on the ceiling. Before I let you go, did you see the Gator th- uh, Gator Kings thing? Have you watched any of that? The Swamp Kings. Swamp Kings. No, I dumped Netflix. Well. It's horrible, and I'll just leave it at that. It's a puff piece for Urban Meyer, and you can get five minutes in and figure it out. It's like it's the, like what, watching an OJ documentary when they talk about him being a great football player and like nothing else happened after he retired. <laughs> <laughs> he, well, yeah, but I, I think Urban Meyer is one. Of, he's one of my all-time greatest coaches, and Tim Tebow, one of my all-time greatest quarterbacks. So, I probably would have handled a puff piece really well. I'm not watching Netflix, though. No, you're ruling that out. Not even Ozark. And you, I didn't even watch the end of it. I it had one season to go or half a season, and I said, no, I don't care how it ends. I'm not watching this anymore. I will give John some credit. We were at the SEC championship game together when Florida got beat by Alabama, and I was working for ESPN. He was working for the Knoxville News Sentinel, who's blessed to have him, by the way. And John looked at me. When he was writing and John rarely would talk, but he went down to the press room area, which was rare too. John rarely goes down to the press area. And I came back and we're writing kind of close to each other. And John turns to me, and goes, did it look like something was really wrong with urban Meyer? And then like two days later, he's having a fake heart attack. I should have called nine one one midway through the fourth quarter. There's a guy on the sideline in the Georgia dome that's dying. Yes, public enemy says nine one one is a joke, like flavor flavor. Yeah, boy. <laughs> uh, 
Thanks. <laughs> So, I had a public enemy moment when I was trying to get music uh, motivated for for the gym. <laughs> <laughs>